as with other solos, we're going to look at this in chunks. Um, so chunk one. <laughs> Quite a long chunk, lots to cover, let's get to it. First bit is on the B string, so I'm going to pick two, hammer on three, pull back off to two, and then pull off to zero. So, very quick tips, tip to hammering on, try and land on your fingertip as you come down on the string, not flat. If you're flat, you're probably going to hit the strings beneath it and you lose a lot of energy that's transferred. You don't see boxers punch with straight arms as they hit, they punch with curved curved arms, all the energy transfers down. Um, so similar principle, it's all just physics. Um, quick tip for pulling off, pull down slightly as you come off the string. Again, physics 101, um, when you fire an arrow from a bow and arrow, you pull the string back, all the energy gets loaded into the string, and when you release it, it flies off. It's the same kind of thing. Um, as you pull down slightly on the string to pull off, you load it up with energy, and then as you come off, you hear the note, I didn't even pick it that time, I just pulled it off so you can see that it's getting energy from somewhere and it's that little pull. Just be careful when you do that that you don't pull down too hard and get like a horrible seasick kind of sound. It just needs to be a little pinging, pinging off the string. Okay, back to the solo. 2320. Two, I'm using my first and second finger and that's on the B string. Then we go on to the G string. 2420. Same principles, I'm just using my first and third fingers this time. Then we go on to the D string, this time it's 4540. Then we go on to the A string, 4540. So that's the, the fast descending run. Try and keep it very even as you cross the strings, uh, rhythmically and volume wise. Okay, next bit goes like this. So that is four, pull off to zero on the D string, re pick the zero, then you go on to four on the A string. So, and then you're going to go D string open, fourth fret on the A again. Like that. So from the start. And then the next bit we're going to play with octaves, so it's the 5th fret, no it's not sorry, it's um, from where we are we've just finished at the 4th fret, you're going to pop your little finger down um, onto the G string and get like an octave shape ready. So at the minute, I'm not actually going to stay on this, but at the minute it's 4 on the, on the A string, nothing on the D, and then 6 on the G string. Now, as I pick this, I'm immediately, I'm not going to pause, I'm immediately going to slide up to the 7th fret with exactly the same shape, like this. So I didn't go where you hear where we are at the minute. That's what we want. Okay. Um, it's important to get used to sliding octaves without losing the shape. Very important skill. So. Then we're going to go back to the 5th fret. Back to the 4th fret. Back to the 5th fret. And then again, 4-5, a bit quicker this time. So. From the start. And we end off our chunk with this. So that's 4540 four, again on the A string. And then two picks of your drop D note. So that's a low D, not an E. You can drop D. Next little bit starts off exactly the same. So copy all of that, everything I've said from the last bit. Let's look at what's different. So 
Um, so we've got 16th notes. So if, if that's your pulse, it's four notes, one eander, two eander to that pulse. Four notes to each pulse, each beat, each foot tap. With two slower notes at the end. So basically I'm going up a major scale. This whole thing's in D major. Um, um, so I'm going five with my second finger on the A string. Um, and that's two beats worth, so there's actually eight notes there. One E and a, two E and a, And then I'm going to the seventh fret on the A string. Three E and a, four E and a, so still eight notes. Onto the D string, fourth fret with my first finger. And sorry, this is actually just going to go for six notes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the two slower notes come at the fifth fret on the D string. So here's the whole bit. So from the start of that chunk. cool things in this solo that you can explore, and I've looked at it in a few other solos um, from different artists, so it is, it's quite a, a done thing, is to play scales up the length of a string rather than in position, which is what most people are used to when they learn a scale and they think of a scale. Um, uh, so we've got a really cool little bit coming up, but before we do that, we've got this part. So that is on the D string at the 5th fret, which is where we've just finished off. Um, we're going to slide up to 7, go back to the 5th fret and you go 5-4-5 five, five. and then ends off the first time with 4-5 again, so we've gone like this and then you do the same thing again but this time it was 4-0 at the end and then here's the cool scale bit I was talking about So, I see this get, get played um, in different places, but if you listen, what you're hearing is basically the notes for D major scale starting on the root, on the D, at the 12th fret, um, with an open note in between. Okay, so let's have a look. We're at 12 on the D string, four notes, and then zero, 12. So. Okay. And then you go up to the 14th fret, same string, still the D string, same pattern. 16th fret, and then the last one is different, it's going to go 17, and this time instead of going to the open note, you go in 16. So 16, and then back to the 17. So let's look at it all again. Last bit sounds like this. Let's break it down. Uh, on the record, he's not really quite staying to a set subdivision here. Um, so I've smoothed it off, evened it off, and, and gone for a set subdivision. Um, so we'll do 16th notes again, um, which is four notes to a beat. Um, though if you listen, I have a bit too much fun at the start. and. Um, kick it up into 16th note triplets, which is 6 notes to a beat, but doesn't matter about that, we'll stay with 4 notes to a beat. Um, now, the last one we did, the last chunk, started on the root of the scale and went up. This one starts on the root of the scale and goes down, so it's an octave higher than where we would just were. So we're at 19 on the G string, um, 8 notes, so that's 1 E and a 2 E and a strict alternate picking of course, um, then we're going to go to 18 on the same string, and then 16, and then 14, so. and we're going to end with some nice uh, clashing, ringing out um, intervals here, um, so we're going to go 12th fret and on the G, 
with the two open strings above it. So, like that. Um, sounds a bit strange if you linger on it like I just did there, but in the in the song it sounds cool, as you already know. Um, and we're basically going to move down the scale, so we're going to go 12, 11, 9, 7, and then a bit quicker we're going to go 6, 4. So. Um, I have seen this done on the B string, um, but if you listen really closely, this is this, you know, when you figure stuff out, you're always looking for little clues. When you listen really closely on the record, you can actually hear an open B string. So as I hit that, you can hear that note going. Let me just do that again. So I'm going to hit the whole lot and then I'm going to stop the other two notes string ringing. It's there. Um, so you couldn't have been doing the bit on the B string. It's got a bit on the G. There we go. That's the whole lot. So good night.